Inside the health center in Goma, Democratic Republic of Congo, medical teams are working hard to identify monkeypox patients as the number of cases in the city continues to rise by the day. Dr. Maguru noted that the medical staff were worried those with symptoms would refrain from coming to the hospital as the infected are taken into isolation. From Friday to today, we have up to nine confirmed cases of monkeypox. People who come with suspicious lesions, we isolate them first, then take the sample for testing. Unlike in previous Mpox outbreaks, where lesions were mostly seen on the chest, hands and feet, the new form causes mild symptoms and lesions on the genitals. We are worried because we don't feel the government is mobilizing and concerned about the best way to try and control this epidemic which is threatening the Congolese population. The WHO declared the Mpox outbreaks in Congo and elsewhere in Africa a global emergency on Wednesday with cases confirmed among children and adults in more than a dozen countries and a new form of virus spreading. We have a large number of cases, the cases are increasing. The mortality rate is higher than we would tolerate. And then the thought is that new countries are now starting to report cases. So these are countries that didn't have cases in the last few years and now reporting cases. And several of them are reporting cases of the variant of Mpox that is just being spread in the DRC. Earlier this week, the Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced that Mpox outbreaks were a public health emergency with more than 500 deaths.